kids. We are heading back today. We're in a high center gym, a different gym today. However, I'm not gonna go crazy and choose different pieces of equipment because they're available to me. I think the bread and butter of the exercises still need to remain the same. However, I'll use different variations. So in this gym, I actually have a neutral grip bar to utilize on the pull down, so I'll use that. Uh, today, so, but the concept is still very similar, still the same. Remember, with back, back is a complex muscle group because you have fibers running in different directions, so you have to hit back from different angles. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. You know, hitting some rows, uh, sorry, pull down, some rows, maybe some shrugs in there as well, just so we target every aspect of the back. So uh, I'm going to keep it intense today. A lot of bloody work ahead of me, and I want to do a little bit of post-workout cardio as well, just to ensure that I can increase my recovery. So what I like to do, straight out from my workout, have my shake, then follow that up with a little bit of cardio, just to get the blood flow around the body and get the nutrients in there so I can recover quickly from this larger muscle group. So pull downs it is first, probably for about uh, three or four sets, and uh, I'll probably knock out about 12 to 15 reps here. taking advantage from another piece of equipment here. So the first exercise, obviously I did a neutral grip pull down. I ended up doing extra sets actually. Again, this is just an instinctive part of my training. If it feels good, hey, I may throw in a couple of extra sets. And that exercise really did feel good. Maybe it's because I was using a different variation with a neutral grip than what I'm uh, usually used to or what I usually have available to me in the gym that I currently train at uh, the majority of the time. So now I'm coming on to the reverse grip row. I just done one set on there. And uh, this is in a hammer machine with, uh, with a pin stack. What I find on this is that you get a lot of tension there, unfortunately, not as much on the contraction. So what I do is really enhance that mind-muscle connection and get uh, try to connect as much as I possibly can so I can get a lot of stress and connection in the positive part of that movement. So using a reverse grip, I'm gonna be targeting my lats a little bit more because I did hit my lats with a pull down. I still want to obliterate them, so I figured I'd do it on this reverse uh, machine here. I'm knocking out about 10 repetitions on this exercise. I feel like I should go a little bit heavier so I can get a good contraction because I like, like I said, a lot of the weight is there at the full extension, exactly where you don't want it really. So you have to get a little bit creative here. Again, remember, pull with your elbows, not so much with your hands and your biceps, pull. That's what I'm always thinking, directing those elbows back because I want to eradicate my flexion of the bicep and uh, grip strength. So that's why I'm using the straps as well. I did extra sets on this bad boy as well because it felt so good. Uh, what you'll notice when I'm doing a reverse, uh, when I'm doing a reverse row or a row on a hammer machine, I always bring my chest away from the pad as I come away. I'm not using that for momentum. I'm using that to get a better contraction because I find when I arc my back and pull myself slightly away from that pad, where I'm not disengaging the lats because I've put all the pressure of the pad against my chest, I'm able to get a much better contraction there. So that's what I suggest, is not use it as a swinging or uh, an excuse for momentum. Just come away nice and controlled, pull yourself away several inches away from the pad, and it really does enhance your uh, contraction on this movement. All right, let's see what other toys are available here. Maybe we'll go into the Smith machine if it's free. In the um, Smith machine rows now, I'm bending over a little bit more than a conventional style of a 45 degree angle, because I want to work more of my mid fibers of the traps as opposed to just the upper upper fibers, which we'll be de definitely hitting with shrugs later. Um, 
Yeah, so I'm going a slightly wider grip here on this uh, exercise as well. On this Smith, mach the Smith machine, it angles back a little bit, so I'll always stand in the machine so I can pull back a little bit more. Not only am I hitting my traps, but I am hitting my lats a little bit there as well. The only thing really questionable about this gym is the bloody music. It's absolutely terrible for me anyway. If it wasn't for you guys, and if I didn't have to talk every five minutes, I'd be wearing bloody headphones, but this is a sacrifice that I make for you. The struggle is real. Man, that was hard, but I like it. Again, I'm enjoying this exercise. So I'm gonna do an extra set on here. If it feels good, then why not hammer it home? You know, if you're getting a good mind-muscle connection, you feel like you're getting a good pump, then take advantage of that. Those days don't always come around. And you're probably wondering, why is he wearing these geeky glasses? I have mentioned before, sometimes I have yellow lens on, sometimes I have the clear lens, because it helps block out a lot of the blue lights or the strobe, the halogen, the strip lights that are flickering because uh, it is said that a lot of this blue light exposure without the red light that you get outside is uh, it can sedate the release of your natural melatonin production. And if that's happening, obviously, your cortisol level goes up. So I definitely make sure that I wear the red lens from this company called Blue Blocks uh, about two hours before bed. But during the day, if I'm ever exposed, to a lot of this light like I am in my office or anything like that I tend to try to wear the clear which I usually use for computers actually or the yellow lens just in case you were wondering I'm a true champion sets, three heavier working sets of shrugs there. Now what I'm going to do is turn around and do a reverse shrug. So I'm actually going to have my hands behind me to shrug up. Now I'm going to have to go a lot lighter than this to do it correctly. The reason why this popped up in my brain is because two days ago on uh, Kai Green's Instagram feed, I saw him doing it. And I've done it before but he was doing it a little bit differently to how I've done it, where he really bends the arms and uh, pulls it over his ass, pulls it up nice and high to get a real good contraction. So I noticed that there was a fuller range of motion the way that he does it over the way that I usually do it. So I'm gonna give that a shot. That's the one good thing about social media is that you can pick up all these little bits of education, hints, tips, inspiration that you can apply to your own journey. to chest because I'm doing a chest hop up. But before I explain what that is, the last exercise I did was the shrug behind the back. So I had to really get over the butt to get it up and get a full range of motion. But I really like that contraction uh, that I got out of that movement. Definitely feel it and I've got to feel it tomorrow. So I finished with back with those exercises and then I remembered that I needed to do a chest top up today. So even though I did chest just a few days ago, I'm doing one exercise for four or five sets here of an incline, just to really ensure that I target my upper pecs even more, because as I've said many a times, I don't think you can have an upper chest that's too enhanced, that's too big, that's too developed. So I wanna target this area with this top up exercise, just to get more blood into the area, get more nutrients in there, fire those muscle fibers again, activate them, and see if this works over a period of time of bringing 
these muscle groups that are either weaknesses or in my eyes can't be overdevelopment, uh, overdeveloped. See if it brings them up. We'll soon find out. So I'm going to be doing that for delts and arms as well with other body parts. Like I was doing in the earlier part of this video series, I'm going to return to that and uh, try to quantify it and see if it works. All right, so last set. We are done for today then. And uh, then I'll see you here uh, tomorrow. Let me see what muscle group we're going to be doing. Arms. It's going to be arms.